Hey y'all, it's Mommy Wata and I am back. Thank you so much for your support of this platform, Mommy Wata Tarot. Let's go ahead and hop right into this next download. I hope that everyone is doing good at this time. And I wanna thank you for your continued support. I return that support back to you tenfold, okay? Somebody is heartbroken because you have forgiven them. Okay, and they're basing your forgiveness off of things that you've done for them recently. You have not had a direct conversation with this person and said, I forgive you for this, that, and the third, because you don't even know what all this person has done against you, but you showed them love in some type of way recently that now they're heartbroken, that they were behind the scenes causing difficulty for you in your life. These difficulties that you are not aware of, okay? So just your, your wholesomeness, 111, has really got this person in their feelings. They're very sad and disappointed in themselves for how they treated you because they see that you are truly a Queen of Cups energy. Someone who is going to spread love and light. That is going to be a sincere, gentle, and giving person. And they didn't deserve the love that you showed them. That's how they feel, honey. For what they did to you behind the scenes that you don't know about. Okay? That's why I said they, they, they know you are in the spirit of forgiveness. Because... You are still dealing with this person somehow. And I feel like you may not know about everything that it did about you, but you know enough. So the fact that you that you even dealing with them, it speaks volumes. And they so ashamed. They ashamed of themselves. Clarify, Holy Spirit, please and thank you what I'm picking up on. King of Cups. This person is in the tower and in the hangman because they tried to sacrifice you now, okay? You don't know that they tried to sacrifice you, but this king of cups tried to sacrifice your ass. And they're being forced to have a new perspective about who you are because you don't even know how they came for your jugular cherry with the strength. You have no idea what this King of Cups tried to do to you. And somehow you have still showed this person love, partnership. You have still tried to somehow partner with this person and assist them somehow with the strength to the Two of Cups. But you have no idea what they did to you behind the scenes to cause misfortune for you to cause pain and loss for you. Clarify, Holy Spirit, five of cups. This person was trying to fuck you up now and you still reached out to them, helped them out with something, encouraged them. You put forth some sort of positive effort that's got this person in deep regret. They wish they would have never did what they did against you. They're trying to figure out how they can heal or fix what they've done against you. How they can go back and make it right. But they can't go back and make it right with this will of fortune. Okay? They didn't put that energy out into the universe and they're just going to have to let it run its course. Okay? Because right now, that energy has returned to sender. It's got this person really down in the dumps. They are really going through some sort of upheaval that is causing an awakening about you, 444. But it's also letting them know that you are somebody who is very special. You're divinely protected. You are somebody that they should have been trying to make happy and have harmony and peace with. 
that, that, that you were somebody they should have been trying to commit to not be karmic and toxic towards not try to be opposition for okay because this has been this person's vibe to you behind the scenes whether you realize it or not and whatever this most recent expression of concern of care is that you express to this person not knowing that they was in a devil hangman against you got their conscience all fucked up i'm telling you this person feels so bad about what they did do you two of swords they wish that they could have done they could do something they wish they could they wish they could turn back the hands of time. They wish they would have done something different. They're trying to avoid the guilt that they feel about this secret, this secret action that they took against you. Baby, I don't know what this person did, but it was rough. They came hard at you and you don't even know it. But you showed this motherfucker some love. I'm telling you, I'm picking up on it. Strength with the two of cups. You tried to help this person in some sort of way. And they are so guilty. It's ridiculous. The level of guilt that I'm picking up off of this king of cups, king of swords. What did he do? Can we get some specifics on this energy, Holy Spirit? World came out here sideways. Page of Swords. He tried to stop something for you, for sure. He was trying to accomplish something against you here. I'm telling you, it's a secret. He don't want it. He don't want it to get out what he did against you. He don't want it to be known. He can hardly face it himself, okay? Page of Swords. And he's watching you. Seemingly be safe and secure and sound and happy. And, you know, you out here showing love to him. And he out here like this towards you. So, you know, you better be careful who you be out here showing love to. Because whoever I'm picking up on, you are not in a partnership with this masculine. I feel like you and this masculine may not have even been on the best terms as of late. But for some reason, you reached out and expressed some concern to this person. Okay? You showed them something in your interaction with them, however brief it was, that you are truly a wholesome, loving individual that they should have never been behind the scenes trying to attack. I'm really picking up on spiritual attacks here as well. Okay, but he trying to hold it in so tight that, you know, it's like peeling off paint, trying to figure out what this man is hiding. It's like he do not want it to be known. High priestess with the eight of wands, two of swords preceding that. He did not, ten of swords, but that's what he did to you now. That's what he tried to do, rather. You in the ten of pentacles. That's also why he looking like, man, I really was trying to fuck her up. Bad. And she's sitting in the ten of pentacles and then got the nerve to turn around and show some love to me. I ain't shit. That's what he been thinking now. I ain't shit now for treating this woman this way. Because you are a feminine. And she's still out here trying to be cool with me. What did, can we get some insight on the strength to a cups, Holy Spirit? What is this about? What did this strength two of cups do towards this ten of cups i'm telling you you showed him some sort of 
love, divine love. You showed him some sort of support. The card says total love and support. Strength with the two of cups is support. That's somebody who is partnering with you to help you, take care of you even, give you some sort of encouragement. That's what you did, okay? And he looking like you communicated something. Ten of Cups is falling right up under the Eight of Wands. This how he looking. Ever since you said whatever you said to him, to let him know that you still cared for him, that you were concerned about his well-being, has truly made him feel weary. This motherfucker weary, child. Because he went hard to destroy you. Why? That's the next question. Three of Cups. Possibly because of who he thought you were celebrating with. Because I'm hearing who he thought you were celebrating with. Look, Five of Swords. This man wanted to have you in the Ten of Wands and the Ten of Swords because he thought that you was kicking it with somebody that he didn't want you to be kicking it with. And that's on period. Clarify, Holy Spirit. I'm telling you. He was spiritually attacking you and physically attacking you behind the scenes. Page of Pentacles. Because this man thought that you were having a new opportunity in life. You were developing something with somebody else. But he was wrong. He was wrong. Clarify. I, I'm not picking up that you were celebrating with anybody. And even if you was, okay? That don't mean that he should do this type of shit towards you, but he did. Four of Cups. You ain't accepting no offers from nobody with the moon. Okay? That's an illusion. It was an illusion for him to think that you were in the Three of Cups because you actually in the Four of Cups, which is possibly... Why you even reached out to him, I just heard. Because you still, look, you still feel like you are an ideal love choice for this King of Cups, King of Swords, despite how he has cut you down and been opposition for you in, in the past. You still feel like he's worth the investment, even though he didn't three of swords your ass multiple times. And the Holy Spirit says that's the truth. You continue to take a risk towards this man to help him out somehow because you feel like he is some sort of divine partner. Okay? But this ain't no divine partner. This is opposition. Okay? That's why he has treated you the way he's treated you in the past. Even if you were in any type of third party situation shit with this man, that's why it ended in disappointment and heartbreak because he was not willing to fully invest in you. And then for him to try to turn around and attack you because of who he thought you were celebrating with, that's why. That's why he feels so bad right now. You may have even said something to this man to let him know that you still been pining for him. That you still got faith and hope that you and him can have a new beginning. That y'all can have some sort of breakthrough. And that there can be possibilities for y'all to be together in the future. You didn't tell him something to that effect. Okay? And he like, he's mind blown. It's mind blowing to him that you express yourself in the way that you did. And on the flip side, he been out here trying to ruin your life. He been out here literally trying to ruin your life because of who he thought you was with. I cannot make it up. Four of Pentacles. And you still show this motherfucker some love, not even knowing 1441 what he did. And I do feel like you are well aware of how he treated you in the past. Now, I'm not saying that. But you overlooked his past behavior that you knew about 
and still showed him love. That's what empresses do. That's how empresses behave. They try to heal situations. They try to remain positive. They try to resurrect partnerships that they feel have divine potential. But whoever you are, God is saying that this might not be no divine soulmate. Okay, this may be a karmic soulmate who you were sent in to teach a lesson because you're giving this man a whole new outlook on life. Whatever you came in and said to him, it switched his entire perspective about you and a lot of things. This man is realizing that his way is not the way. That even if you did choose to be with somebody else, which we see that you did not, but even if you did choose to take action with someone else, trying to destroy your life in the background is very toxic, very evil, a very decrepit thing to do to someone who is embodying the energy that you're embodying. Like this man is just, he just, he can't believe that you said what you said to him after everything he'd been out here doing against you that you don't know about. That's very important here. Cause I feel like if you knew some of the stuff I'm picking up on that I swear, I just don't want to get into Lord clarify you ace of pentacles. If you knew the money that he even spent to try to enact justice against you, like I'm picking up, this man has spiritually attacked you. This man may have even went to the justice system on, on you. And I'm just not understanding. <laughs> I'm not understanding, Lord. Why would this man do all of this just because she was dating somebody else? This man spent his abundance to enact justice and karma against you. Why was it so serious? Especially if he had her in the third party himself, Holy Spirit. Like, why do he care that bad? Six of Pentacles. This man didn't want you to give to and receive from nobody else. Yeah, he could, he could slut you out. He could string you along, but nobody else can. This man is giving off very dark energy, but the universe is working on his ass. He going through some sort of dark night of the soul. This is somebody who normally would sit in this type of vibe here. They don't give a fuck. He definitely ain't got no con. He didn't have no conscience. Whoever I'm picking up on, okay? Giving off warlock energy too. I have to say it. Giving off some sort of dominant spiritual practitioner vibe. But he practiced for himself. Seven of Pentacles. And whoever this is, he knows how to have people in the Five of Cups. Ooh, Five of Pentacles. He in the Five of Cups now though. It came out for him. But he used to having other people in the Five of Pentacles in the Five of Cups. Now he in the Five of Cups. Because, baby, he done did some work on you. That shit ain't take, though. And then for it not to take and you bust out and turn around and tell him that you still care for him. And you want to be with him or you in his corner, child. This man, this man that shit fucked him up, girl. <laughs> That shit fucked him up. Because, see, he was trying to have you in the Nine of Pentacles in reverse, honey. He really wanted you to fall flat on your face. And you've done just the opposite. And then showed his ass love in return, child. He is just, he threw. Because, see, this is where you really at. He wanted you in the Nine of Pentacles in reverse, but you were in the Queen of Pentacles. Okay, so he didn't try to stop your money. He's tried to cause some sort of Five of Pentacles defragmentation for you. 
cause you to be in poverty for sure. That's definitely what he was trying to do. He was also trying to cause some sort of confusion around your name. Because I was picking up on something like... I ain't going to say he put no false report on you, but he put something out here in the streets about you that wasn't true. That caused people to put past judgment on you. He didn't did that now. Judgment falling right up under this justice energy. He may have very well lied, told some lies on you to the justice system, but I just am not getting why a three of cups, three of swords connection would make a man behave like this. Holy Spirit, I need to understand why he would why he would react in such a way to this woman moving on and being with another. Like, it just truly don't make no sense. So, Holy Spirit, can we get some understanding as to why this masculine energy, even if he didn't want you, even if his possession for you, because he, first of all, he can't be that possessed with you. If he out here fucking with other people and stringing you along when you were dealing with him. But it's really something here like, no, you cannot talk to nobody else. And because you decided that you didn't want to be my third party bust down, I'm finna drag your ass. Spiritually and physically. That was his plan now, but that ain't how it played out. And for you to reach out to him in some sort of way, maybe you felt like there was some concern about his life or something that he facing. Okay? Mm, that was confirmation how them cards just almost fell. And they, they fell right on top of this five of swords. This man defeat, is defeated in another realm of his life, possibly because of how he was coming for you, Divine Feminine. Okay, so... What What's the real underlying issue here with this masculine towards this feminine Holy Spirit? What is his problem? High priestess. He do not want... He This is somebody who is really holding his deep, dark secrets close to his heart. Okay? He does not want... It to be known why he feels the way he's feeling towards you, why he did what he did towards you. Like there, there's definitely some healing and an unearthing that this man is going to have to go through and experience. Death, five of cups, seven of cups because of the seeds that he sowed. But he, he, I don't know, child. I ain't finna keep trying to figure it out. Neither, child. Let him keep his secrets. That shit eating him up inside, though. You know, I'm hearing that if he wants this pain that he's feeling to subside just a little, he need to start asking for forgiveness for everything that he's done against this divine feminine against you page of wands i'm telling you you better start praying and asking for forgiveness that's what i'm hearing if he wants to start feeling some relief from the guilt that he's experiencing for trying to destroy your life in the background any final messages holy spirit let's see what that was seven of swords Knight of Wands. Because he that was his vibe to you. And his sordid reasons for doing this, he don't even want those to be revealed, honey. Whatever it is that caused him to behave this way to you, it's deeper than you going and partnering possibly with somebody else. Okay, just know that. But that's something that he got to heal and work on. That ain't nothing that you don't need, you even need to be worried about. Whoever I'm picking up on, this ain't no divine counterpart, okay? Because you didn't say something to this man to make him think and believe that you still want to be with him. But the universe is saying you need to dig a little deeper at this time and get true understanding about this karmic soulmate here. 
And the Holy Spirit says that's the truth. Because you are up under some illusions about the truth and validity to this partnership. And the Holy Spirit wants you to gain more knowledge and foresight on the matter. Because you did say something to this man to make him think and believe that you still love and care for him and want to be with him. That's why he tripping so hard. But the universe is telling you to stop tripping. Okay. Queen of Swords. Because even if you don't know about everything he done did behind the scenes against you, you know enough that happened directly to you that caused you to be restricted in life. So, you know, even if you don't know about the, the other shit, you got enough wisdom and knowledge about the old shit, the past and prior shit that he did to you. So what I'm hearing is you shouldn't even be out here trying to fuck with him no way. If God then brought you to the point and place that you are at now where you in the Ten of Pentacles, why are you even trying to comfort the devil? Okay, you need to be going in the, in the other direction and possibly figuring out why you still felt the way you felt about him that you reached out and tried to be of any comfort tried to give give to give to him or receive anything from him that's what the universe wants you to work on and think about because this man then showed you enough in the past that you shouldn't be accepting shit from him six of cups four of cups okay you shouldn't want nothing from him for everything else he did not did that you know about. With this page of swords on the bottom of this deck. So that's the message here for somebody. Yeah, like he let him be in his feelings. He need to be in his feelings for all the shit that I'm fucking picking up on that he done did. But you don't need to be in your feelings. You need to end this cycle for good. Because this karmic X don't mean you any good. Okay? Any final messages? Anything else here, Holy Spirit? Ten of Wands. It's time to give that up for good. Any type of karmic tie that you still had to this man is a stress and a burden and an overload on your life. It has made you weary in the past and it will continue to make you weary in the future. God wants you to continue to move forward towards new opportunities, new experiences, and possibly new connections. Okay, because he swore you was in a new connection, but it looks like if you give up whatever you got going for him or feeling for him for good, you will walk right into a new opportunity in love and life. Okay, and I'm going to leave it there. I hope this message helps someone. I hope it gave you insight and guidance on how you should move forward, but always remember if it doesn't apply, please let it fly. Take only what resonates, leave the rest, and I'll be back soon with another one, y'all. Peace.